fast-paced world. Millions of strangers brush shoulders every day. But what happens when catastrophe strikes? When a life hangs in the balance and all eyes turn towards a single scene of unfolding chaos? Imagine a crowded street. A man collapses. Dozens of eyes turn his way, faces etched with concern, yet no one moves. No one rushes to his aid. Why do we freeze in the face of emergency? Why does the instinct to help seem to vanish in a crowd? This is the chilling phenomenon known as the bystander effect, a well-documented social psychology theory that exposes a dark truth about human behavior. In the following minutes, we'll delve into the science behind this inaction, explore real-life examples that turn theories into horrifying realities, and most importantly, equip you with the knowledge to break the chain. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Concept Breakdown Understanding the bystander effect. The bystander effect, in its simplest form, is the tendency for people to be less likely to intervene in an emergency situation when others are present. It's a counterintuitive concept, right? We're wired to help our fellow humans. Yet, something changes when we become part of a crowd. This phenomenon wasn't always a documented theory. It gained national attention in the wake of a horrific tragedy. In 1964, a young woman named Kitty Genovese was stabbed to death outside her apartment building in New York City. News reports at the time claimed that dozens of neighbors witnessed the attack unfold over several hours, yet no one called the police or intervened. This case sparked outrage and disbelief. How could so many people turn a blind eye to such violence? Psychologists John Darley and Bib Latane decided to investigate this disturbing trend. Their groundbreaking studies aimed to understand the psychological factors that paralyze bystanders in a crowd. Real life examples, when theories become reality. The bystander effect isn't just a theory confined to dusty textbooks. It's a real phenomenon with devastating consequences. Here's a chilling example that ripped through headlines. Case study one. Picture this, a bustling shopping mall teeming with people. A young child, barely five years old, becomes separated from their parents. Confusion etched on their face. They start to cry out for help. But amidst the throng of shoppers, no one seems to notice. Minutes tick by. The child's cries, growing more frantic. Still, the crowd moves on, their attention focused on their own errands. This scenario perfectly exemplifies the bystander effect. Diffusion of responsibility comes into play. With so many people around, each individual feels less personally accountable to intervene. Social influence takes hold. Seeing others remain passive reinforces the notion that perhaps the situation isn't serious. Fear of judgment also creeps in. What if the child isn't actually lost? What if intervening makes things worse? Case study 2. The bystander effect isn't limited to single incidents. It can manifest in the face of large-scale emergencies as well. During natural disasters, precious seconds can be lost as bystanders hesitate to help, unsure of the best course of action. Public assaults can unfold with witnesses recording the scene on their phones instead of intervening to stop the violence. The human cost of the bystander effect is undeniable, but understanding its roots is the first step towards overcoming it. In the next segment, We'll delve into the science behind inaction and explore strategies to break free from the bystander mentality. Why do people freeze? The science behind inaction. So, why do we freeze in the face of an emergency? The answer lies in a complex interplay between our biology and social psychology. When faced with danger, our bodies trigger a primal response known as fight or flight, 
our heart rate increases, adrenaline surges, and our muscles tense, preparing us to either confront the threat or flee the scene. But in a crowded situation, this initial response can take a disturbing turn. The overload of sensory information and the sheer number of people can overwhelm our system. The fight or flight response gets stuck, transitioning into a state of paralysis. The freeze response. We become immobilized, unsure of how to react or if our intervention would even make a difference. This feeling of uncertainty is further amplified by social influence. We instinctively look to others for cues on how to behave. In a crowd where everyone seems passive, we subconsciously interpret the situation as less urgent, diminishing our own sense of responsibility to act. The bystander effect might seem like an ingrained human failing, but it's not an inevitable outcome. In the next segment, we'll explore strategies to overcome this bystander mentality and empower ourselves to become active helpers. Breaking the chain. How to overcome the bystander effect. The bystander effect may be a powerful force, but it's not invincible. By understanding its mechanisms, we can equip ourselves with the tools to break the chain and become active bystanders. So, what can you do when you witness an emergency situation? Here are a few key strategies to remember. Directly ask for help. Don't assume someone else will take charge. Be clear and assertive. You could say, sir, do you need medical attention? Or someone call 911. By taking this initiative, you break the diffusion of responsibility and encourage others to act. Take charge. Don't wait for a designated leader to emerge. If you have the skills and knowledge to intervene, take action. If you're unsure what to do, focus on basic first aid or calling emergency services, overcome fear and social pressure. We all experience fear of judgment or making the situation worse. However, remember that the potential consequences of inaction are far greater. Trust your instincts and prioritize the safety of the person in need. Here are some psychological tricks to overcome fear and social pressure. Focus on the person in need. Shift your attention from the crowd to the individual who needs your help. Use the bystander effect to your advantage. Remind yourself that by acting, you could inspire others to join in and offer assistance. Visualize success. Imagine yourself taking control of the situation and making a positive difference. The power to become a hero doesn't lie with superheroes in capes. It lies within each of us. In the next segment, we'll explore real world examples of people overcoming the bystander effect and the impact their actions had. Social psychology experiments, shedding light on human behavior. The bystander effect may seem like a counterintuitive phenomenon, but it's firmly grounded in scientific research. Pioneering social psychology experiments have shed light on how our behavior changes in group settings. In the 1960s, John Darley and Bib Latane conducted a series of groundbreaking studies. Participants believed they were taking part in unrelated experiments, unaware they were about to witness a staged emergency. Their findings were stark people were significantly less likely to intervene in a situation if they thought others were present. The feeling of shared responsibility or diffusion of responsibility led to inaction. These initial studies paved the way for further research. Psychologists have explored the bystander effect in online environments where anonymity can exacerbate the issue. Other studies have focused on bystander intervention during cyberbullying, highlighting the complex social dynamics at play. The research is clear. The bystander effect is a real phenomenon, but it doesn't have to define us. In the next segment, we'll share a powerful call to action and equip you with the tools to become an active bystander. Be the chain. The bystander effect may be a powerful force, but you have the power to break its hold. Knowledge is the first step. 
educate yourself and others on bystander intervention techniques. Share this video. Discuss it with friends and family. Let's build a community of active bystanders, ready to spring into action when needed. Remember, in an emergency, every second counts. Don't be a passive observer. Be the difference. You have the power to make a difference. One action, one voice raised in concern, can change the course of events and save a life. Let's not allow fear or social pressure to silence our humanity. Let's choose courage. Let's choose to be the heroes this world needs. In this video, we've delved into the chilling phenomenon of the bystander effect. We've explored the science behind why we freeze in emergencies, witnessed real-life examples of its impact, and learned valuable strategies to overcome this tendency. The bystander effect highlights a truth about human behavior. We are social creatures, influenced by the actions and reactions of those around us. But within each of us lies the power to choose. Will we be passive observers? Or will we rise to the challenge and become active bystanders? The choice is yours. Remember, even the smallest act of courage can have a ripple effect, leaving a positive impact that extends far beyond the immediate situation.